Okay guys, now that we're back, it's time to go ahead. The next step is gonna to be to put our flight controller inside our uh, frame right here. And to do that, what we're gonna do is <clears throat> we're gonna recognize where the A is, okay? And that's gonna be one of our, our points here. And then we're gonna also differentiate the front and the back of the frame. So what I want you to do is I want you to turn the frame upside down to where you're looking at it from the bottom, okay? And I want you to notice, if you're looking at your frame here, what I want you to do is I want you to notice uh, the differences between the front and the back. So if you look at the uh, back of the frame, uh, you're gonna notice that there's a larger opening uh, on the front of the frame than the back. So basically, if you're looking at this, the opening to the front will have a greater gap from this plastic piece to the front. So if you were to measure this with a ruler, you would see that from, if you look at the frame, and this is the front area, and this is the back, and this is where your battery runs. So if we were to take our battery and put it in here, it would look something like this, okay? So what we notice is that the distance from the edge of the battery holder to the back screw here is going to be about 11, 10 millimeters, whereas the battery holder to the front screw will be 20. So the distance from the, this point to here is twice as long. That means this is gonna be your front. So what I want you to do is I want you to take it and aim it this direction, okay? Distance from here to here is greater, so this is your front. So turn this over just like that. And then I want you to take your flight controller and you see where the letter A is. I want you to take that and I want you to turn it upside down, just like this, okay? And when you do that, I want you to go ahead and I want you to set it on the posts here. And these will go through the rubber grommet, the rubber spacers. And your wire for your battery is gonna go right through this gap right here. You see this gap right here? So put your wire through that, just like that. And then just press the flight controller down onto the uh, standoffs, uh, the little pieces standing up off of the frame. And they should all go right in place properly. Okay. And it should look just like this when you are done. And I'll show you here, give it one second. Make sure that's pressed down firmly. And here's what you should have. If you flip it upside down now, you should have your wire coming out here, okay? You should be able to see the USB plug here with the letter A on it. You have all four motor wire uh, plugs right here. And if you turn it back over standing up straight, it should look just like this, okay? Now one of my little rubber pieces here is, I did tear mine a little bit when I was putting it on, so we're just gonna hold it there in place. And it's not a problem because the screws are gonna go in here in just a minute. Once you have this in place, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug in our motors, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to take uh, your motors and I want you to make sure that you plug them in. You can see the wires, you can see the pins and you can see the openings. Turn them and plug them in properly into these specific areas. So just plug them in and they should snap right in without too much issue. Okay. And just do all four wires that way. One, two, three, and then you're going to do your last one, which will be your fourth wire right here, and four, okay? So now if you look at this, you should see them just like that. You have all four wires plugged in, and everything looks great there. Let's go ahead and turn our frame back over now and take some time to check this out and make sure everything's in place properly. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna next, we're gonna get the camera mounted inside this plastic canopy right here and we're gonna put it all together. We'll be back in just a minute.